the War Game Rashawn. I'm coming at you today uh, to do a question and answer. It's been a little over a week since I did a uh, video. I apologize for that. I have some battle reports that are in the works, and I have been working um, trying to furiously paint my Space Wolves to try to get them ready for the a tournament uh, called the Bug Eater that's in Omaha, Nebraska um, next month now, I guess June. Um, and so I'm trying to get those done. And feeling pressure from those, uh, but I did want to make a video. I'm going to do a question and answer and kind of do a quick like talk about what I've been up to. Um, I did um, get the Codex Astartes. I, it's pretty much a remake of what the old one was, which I have, uh, but I kind of like to collect things, but it's very similar. I don't think they really changed anything, but it's pretty cool. Um, I did get uh, the special edition uh, guy. And I'm working on him right now. I'm painting him up as a space wolf. He's not done yet. But that's about where he's at right now. Um, I'm working... I just finished um, 15 uh, Blood Claws and um, one more Rune Priest and a, uh, a Wolf Company Battle Leader um, that I'll do a video on. Um, and so I'm working on uh, this 30th anniversary guy and then... I'm also working on five uh, uh, wolf guard and then also uh, six long fangs. Although they're kind of an odd long fangs unit, the way I'm taking them in the tournament is I'm just taking like two dudes and then the ancient is taking a special weapon because I want the melta because they're coming in in draw pod. So I don't, the multi meltas would have to snap fire the first turn and they're probably going to get eaten up after they land. So uh, I just want the melta in there to kind of get an extra melta shot. Um, so that's the way I'm running the long fangs, which isn't the normal way to run long fangs. But in this drop pod formation that I'm running, I, I need them to drop down and not be set up and back. Um, the other thing I did get, um, let's see, one second. I did get the finally the uh, the two um, supplements. I'll do. I'm going to be doing a review on both of those. They're both uh paperback i thought they were going to be hardback um unfortunately i was disappointed they didn't do any kind of decurian style um formations or detachments which i was really hoping for i thought chaos space marines could really use those there are some interesting um formations and attachments in there um i think it's cool it's fun i don't know how much more competitive it's going to make chaos space marines which is kind of disappointing i actually think that the um crimson slaughter is probably the better formation um there's a couple with the black legion that's pretty cool too um i'll do a review and kind of go over that the next thing that's coming um that uh i got the white door for is the um the new uh, uh airborne one um shoot what's it called i apologize uh blah, 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 blah. You think I could remember it, and I can't. Um, the Death from the Skies, um, and that's going to update flyers. I guess apparently everything except for fighters now is not going to have sky fire, so they're gonna, any other flyer is going to have to snap shoot at any other thing in the air, and the rest of them like are designated to hit ground targets. So like bombers and um, mixed fighters are mainly for hitting the ground, and then fighters are mainly for hitting stuff in the air. But from what I'm so I'm thinking now that strafing run is gone because the way it sounds like is fighters hit ground targets at minus one ballistic skill otherwise they hit stuff in the air at normal ballistic skill so they're going to do some major changes to flyers I, I apparently they're going to add a phase right at the beginning of the game turn where a fighter can kind of take something out before it comes on reserves i don't know how big of a deal it's going to be i mean excuse me i know there's people that are kind of excuse my french but pissing and moaning about it but People don't bring flyers that much now, thanks because of Tau. Um, and I don't see people really changing it. I mean, unless some of these formations, because you can take like like a, a fighter wing or a wing that's like up to like four um, aircraft in a you know in a group, maybe that's going to change things. Um, from what I'm reading, it looks like the wing they don't have to actually. They're not a vehicle squadrons so they can each shoot at different things they're just kind of part of a wing and depending on how you set them up if they f form a certain 
formation, they get certain bonuses. But if they don't, they can still go and do their own things, which is cool. It's better than a squadron where you kind of like you have to stay. There's no coherency and you don't have to shoot at the same target, which is kind of nice. Um, we'll see. Um, I don't know how much of a game changer it's really going to be, but I'll, I'll do a review of it once I get it and see what's going on. I'm sorry. I'm kind of behind on my reviews. I, I apologize. Um, I'm going to go to the question and answers next. I'm going to pull those up here. Um, let's see. So the first question I have is um, from, looks like, uh, Idik Beer. And um, let's see. It is, um, he said that it was really interesting finding out more or about out more about you. Um, what are your favorite TV programs? Um, good question. You know, before kids, I didn't really watch a lot of TV. Um, and now, unfortunately, some of the TV shows that I watch uh, uh, are kid shows that aren't really that entertaining to me and myself. Um, I'd say the one TV show, and it's only on during a certain season that I try to watch, is um, Game of Thrones. Um, so I read the books, although now they're in to a book that doesn't exist yet because... Uh, Martin likes to look at himself on the internet and see how cool he is and not actually finish a book. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I like Game of Thrones. I kind of, I watched that one. Um, as far as any other t t TV shows, I wouldn't say I'm really like tied to any of them. I do, there are some that I watch that I have fun watching if I can watch them, but I don't like have to watch them. Um, I do try to watch Deadliest Catch. I don't, I'm assuming it's on Discovery Channel, so I'm assuming everybody has it, but it's a, I guess, kind of, I hate reality shows, but I guess it's kind of a reality show about uh, crab fishermen and kind of following their crab fishing, you know, so I guess it's close to reality. I'm just not a big reality TV fan, and so I'm kind of sick of all the reality TV shows, at least in the United States, they're really big. I don't know if they are in the rest of the world, but they're really big here, and they're really kind of annoying. Um, other than that... Uh, I don't really watch any other TV shows. Um, I guess I'm kind of boring. I, I do. We don't really go to movies that much. We try to. Uh, our goal was um, that we would go out once a month, you know, uh, my wife and myself with without the kids. Um, but that doesn't always happen with young kids. I mean, I'm sure anybody that's got kids understands that. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, I don't really, uh, I don't really have any other shows that I really – like i mean i that i really have to watch um uh as far as uh the next question is from chief live board gaming from jake um and uh and he asked the question if i had to choose devotion to one of the chaos gods which one would it be and why cheers man i think because i've noticed that jake um asks these questions to like other legion members and this is a hypothesis guys but I think Jake um, may be a chaos cultist or something, and I think he's trying to convert us into his cult. I think we gotta, gotta watch that. I'm a little, a little concerned. It might be time to have a little intervention or something. Not sure. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, if I had to choose a chaos guy, let's see. Um, you know, honestly, I, I, hands down, I would say. I mean, I, I, I have armies that could play all of them. Um, my least favorite, because um, it's gotten the least love, and plus the Eldar were my first army. I'm not a big Slanesh fan, because She Who Thirsts is the enemy of the Eldar, because they created them out of their decadence. Um, but uh, I'd say my least favorite one is Slanesh. Um, and then I'd say, you know, like Korn... Used to be my uh, lesser favorite, but I think the Corn Demon can really kind of got the juices flowing for them. So I've had a lot of fun with Corn. Uh, so I would say Corn's kind of tied with Nurgle. Uh, with Nurgle, uh, my favorite though is Zinch. Um, I've kind of always liked Zinch. When I first got into Chaos and Chaos Demons, um, I my Thousand Suns are my favorite. Uh, as far as Chaos Space Marines, um, there I guess there's Zinch, but I, I, I really wouldn't say necessarily always. I mean, dedicated to him, I guess um, Magnus the Red is, but I think Armand's just kind of trying to look out for his folks and try to cure the ru rubric, which I don't think is ever really going to happen. Um, but I like um, Fate Weaver, and I think 
of Zinch um, is always just scheming plans within plans type of thing. Um, so, you know, that, that one, it's kind of a, a thinking game or a tactics game. And I kind of, I kind of like that, you know, coins kind of like just head on and, and hit them and kill them. And, uh, I kind of like the way Zinch uh, does things. You know, the Nurgle's supposed to, Papa Nurgle's supposed to be the god of both life and death and rebirth and, you know, death and renewal, but he's always kind of displayed as like pussy and disease and grossness. Like he's always about death, which I think is a little bit of a mistake on, on, um, GW's part because he's, if he's supposed to be kind of the god of life and renewal too, they should show some of that side of them. They don't really, so it's a little disappointing. Um, although I think, you know, some of, some things about Nurgle are cool too, but Zinch is what I'd have to pick. Um, and then we got a question from Tabletop um, Banter. I'm assuming it's... I know there's two guys that do it. I think it's... Um, I'm assuming Callum, maybe, or whoever. Hello? I'm assuming it's Callum because I always kind of gave him a hard time when he had his long hair. And he uh, he asks a question regarding that. <laughs> um, so his question is, what got me hooked on Wargaming? Um, and the other question is, if... You could have the hair and beard of any other YouTuber. Whose would it be you choose? Um, hmm. Well, I think it would be interesting um, maybe to do like have Callum like his hair and then like um, Richard, you know, tattoo for you is like huge beard. That would look really interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, I don't know. You know, I... I've done different hairstyles and stuff uh, through the years, so I don't know if I'd have to choose anybody else's. I will say that my hair is very fine, and so it doesn't really do much. Um, I'll, I'll let you guys in on a secret, which is now going to be the whole world. But in the 80s, in the United States, uh, it was cool to have big hair, and, and my hair just doesn't do anything. And and so um, I uh, I used to actually use like large like perm, like curls to like, to actually get volume to my hair so I can have the poofy eighties hair. Um, and then in the back too, but I don't do that anymore. Um, I'm pretty lazy with my hair now. I just kind of keep it short so it's easy. I don't have to do much. I don't really use any products in it or anything, I mean, I do wash it, shampoo it, stuff like that. And I use a shampoo that's supposed to help me not lose my hair because, uh, my family's kind of prone to getting bald. So I don't really want to do that. I'm sure it's a little receding, but I want to resist the bald as much as I can. <laughs> um, I'm going to go down with go down fighting. Um, so I guess that's the answer to the question. As far as um, what got me hooked on wargaming, um, it's a good question. The very first thing that got me into it, um, into wargaming, was um, a, a game called Battletech by, by FASA or FASA, um, which doesn't exist anymore. Uh, Battletech still exists. I, it got split. There's like the Dark Millennium, I think, is still owned by WizKids or something, and I think um, Catalyst Games owns a classic. It's called Classic Battletech, and I I'll always have a spot in my heart for that. I loved Battletech. Um, I liked actually the role playing game part and the gaming part. So you could have Mech Warrior, and then when you'd actually fight in your mech, it was basically, you know, uh, war war gaming, and that's kind of what got me into it at first, and I really got hooked on it, and then. Some friends of mine um, who had started playing in, when I was in uh, high school, um, Rogue Trader, and uh, they were like, oh, you got to check this uh, game out. And, you know, we, one of them was like, oh, I play uh, a Slanesh uh, Chaos Space Marine, so you, I don't want you to play that. And one person had Imperial Guard and Beastmen in, in Imperial Guard because you could have them. They used to have collars that they could just decide to detonate and explode. It was like mutated people. And then one person had squats, um, poor squats. And then one person had orcs and one had, uh, or space Marines. One had Ordo Malleus, um, which was a type of space Marine. And then they had the gray Knights. The gray Knights were actually only the terminators. And then Ordo Malleus was like the rest of the chapter. And they were kind of a gray, grayish black color. And only their terminators were silver. Um, which that's kind of changed over time. Um, and they're like, well, we, you know, you only really only have one faction left and that's like Eldar Harlequins. And I'm like, Oh, space, you know, what are they space elves? And it's like, and, um, 
and I, like when I heard about Harlequins, I'm like, I'm I'm hooked. These guys seem really cool. I'm gonna play these guys, and then I got into Eldar, and the rest is history. I now have every army except for Blood Angels. Um, so I'm pretty much hooked on 40k. Um, and with kids, um, there's other games like I play Star Wars, uh, or sorry, X-wing. Um, and I have some other ones, um, but it's really hard to find time to do it. There's other games that I'm sure I'd be interested in. It's just with kids, it's hard. Like, I can really only dedicate myself. I really only find the time to, like, play one game. So right now, it's pretty much 40K because I, I run, um, uh, I kind of organize a, a weekly gaming group and kind of club. And then we do tournaments. And we work on, like, an FAQ for our tournaments and part of an ITC uh, events and and so when I get a chance to go and do something, it's usually dedicated to 40K and, and that. Um, and I'm pretty passionate about 40K. Not that I, I really like um, Battletech too, and I have like all the novels from Battletech when fast to put them out. It's just the problem is, is that you know Battletech, except for classic Battletech that's out now, it's kind of unfortunately dead. I hate to say that. I, I mean, it's still around, but there's not as many people playing it anymore. So... Um, so yeah, that's your, that's the answer to your question. Um, so, uh, tattoo for you, Richard asks, um, he says that I'm right behind you. I wear 14. He was asking about shoe size. Um, I wear 15. He is, says 14. We're talking about different. He asked me what kind of foods and talking about pizza. Um, and then he asks, uh, how often do I get to play, um, and pick any, uh, an, an army and what would you add? Um, as far as picking an army, what would I add? I don't, I don't know. Um, you know, some things are cool, like uh, Titans and stuff. Although the reality I've kind of come to figure out, I have some Titans and stuff. But the reality is, is most of the time you don't really get to play them that much, unless you're playing really big APOC games, and that doesn't really happen that much. There is a group in my area that meets, you know, every, every month or every couple months to play. The problem is, is that if I want to run or help organize a monthly like tournament for our group, it's hard to get away more than like once a month on like a Saturday take off work and, and get away from the family to do that. And so I don't I haven't don't really play apocalypse apocalypse that much. So as far as most anything else, any other armies, if I really would like something, I usually get it if I can. Um, and over the years, I've been collecting for so long that I, I have most everything that I really would like. Um, Potentially, there's some things in 30k that I may want or missing. Although I, I'm kind of waiting for the Thousand Suns book to come out, and so I'm not really build. I kind of got some stuff for the army for for Thousand Suns, but I haven't really started building it yet because I don't know what's the rules and what's going to be good to run. So I haven't. I don't want to assemble a bunch of stuff and go, oh crap, this is not right, and then I gotta either disassemble it or change the models and stuff. So I'm just kind of waiting on that. Um, other than that, not really anything. I have um, Mechanicum and Skatari. I started collecting some stuff and doing stuff, but I kind of stopped assembling. I kind of got, I kind of got, I was going to go from that after my Tau. I was going to start playing that. And then I just kind of got into the Wolves again because the Wolfen came out. And I got really excited about the Wolfen because I played that a long time ago. And the Gene Stealer call came out. And so I just kind of dropped and set aside um, Mechanicus. And they're kind of on the back burner right now. Um, so I don't see myself really going back to them right now. It's not that I don't like them. I just I'm really interested in playing the Space Wolves right now. And probably also um, if I can play smaller games, probably the the gene stealer cult because i i really like playing them um as far as how often do i get to play um most of the time i'm lucky um, we have a weekly meeting or weekly uh open game night uh, we use one of our local stores uh, uh, a guy named uh, ben that owns misty mountain uh, is the name of our store that we kind of play at um and uh and that he's been really nice, supportive of our group, and got some fat mats for us. Um, and uh, we've built some terrain, donated some terrain there. He has a lot of terrain. So we have a really nice setup, and so we usually play and meet once a week. And um, it's kind of changed or fluctuates, but we've got quite a few people that come. And right now, it's kind of a good group. Um, we have some competitive players and some really good players. But for the most part, a lot of us are really good um, kind of 
fun gamers and like what I've been doing um, with people the last you know few weeks is I talked to them about it beforehand before we get there so there's not a surprise and there's just like a here I'm gonna slap you in the face with this list it's kind of like oh okay you're gonna bring close combat stuff okay I'll bring a bunch of close combat stuff and so we'll be able to play that game we won't have to worry about one person just shooting us off the table or hey I'm bringing this can you bring I'll bring something that counters it but isn't like just stupid annoying you know so it's been kind of fun I, i've been playing some stuff with my space wolves like i've played um uh with some a venerable dreadnought and um i played bjorn the fell hand uh last week um he actually did some stuff he killed two units before he got killed by a dread knight um i kind of expected he was going to die right away because he usually doesn't do that much for me but i just i just love his history his fluff and he's just fun to play so i want to play bjorn um so i played him so it's been fun. Um, so once a week usually is when I get to play. Um, we were running tournaments once a month, although now it's um, every couple or we'll do them. And then in the summer, like uh, June and July, we're going to take a break because it usually kind of low turnout during the summer. But so we get to do it pretty often. Um, anyway, uh, that's my questions. If you guys have questions, feel free to leave them below. Uh, you know, I try to give it a couple weeks. Um and try not to like ram Q and A's down you um, frequently. If uh, if there's you know if you guys want question or have questions for me, I'll I'll certainly answer them. If not, then you know I I don't have to continue it either. It's uh it's up to you guys. But I will do a video shortly after this one gets up, um, showing my work on the space wolves because I I think they're coming out pretty well. I'm not spending as much time on each unit like Nick is, and Nick's are just spec freaking tackling. They're just beautiful. Uh, Nick Beer stuff looks beautiful I mean, it does i i have to get a big list and try to get it done before a tournament i want my stuff to be painted well and, and potentially you know win something for painting potentially but i just can't i can't um, spend as much time on each unit just because i don't have as much time as you know because i have to get enough done i'm, I'm worried i'm not going to get enough i get it all done before the tournament if that's the case i don't i won't go with stuff that's not painted or painted crappily, so I may end up last minute switching to like a, a Tau or Elder list that I have ready, just so I can take it and go and, and have something that's painted to play, because um, I just don't want to take stuff that's not painted, but hopefully I can get my Space Wolves done, because I'd like to play my Space Wolves, and it's a fun list, it's nothing, there's no Death Stars, and no, nothing that's really, you know, stupid, annoying, good, it's just, you know, a, a kind of MSU, and, you know, something that kind of the trick with the detachment is everything gets to, all the dropouts get to come in turn one automatically, um, so everything's just kind of coming in, kind of alpha striking. But it could backfire, you know. If I get to, I have to go first, and it's, I'm facing another dropout army, I'm gonna come down, and then they get to come down and drop on me. So it's it's not a fail safe uh, win win, uh, but it'll be fun. So um, until next time, guys, take care and keep on wargaming. I'll see. You, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Goodbye, you sexy motherfucker.